Hello guys, I am Steve, and welcome to 7 Tarot. Are you single? Are you a backstabbing bitch? Are you a raving lunatic narc? Well, whichever case it is, today on 7 Tarot we are going to find out. And don't forget, if you have PTSD or schizophrenia, Tarot really may not be in your best interest, especially if you are a jealous ex with big dick syndrome. So seek other means of help and don't bitch at me in the comments, because honestly tell it to someone who gives a fuck. Now lest all just join hands and act like mature adults, and have a good time. And remember, Steve loves you baby. Capricorn, how you doing? So uh, I heard either making a sex tape or making a mixtape. Now I don't really know. This person could be into mixing and mastering and doing anything around music or making you or something of a muse or Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. Now, <clears throat> so if you haven't followed me before and you've just met, you could be dealing with Scorpio, Aries. There are going to be loads of signs and synchronicities along the way uh for you coming up and also for me that reads in numerology so you're going to really have to grip to grips of how i channel before we look at your tarot uh and i also read in numerology which means that this is the same as a gemini as a capricorn because they are both major arcana number six so as these readings if you are a capricorn sun moon rising venus jupiter north node you can also watch gemini readings sun moon rising venus north node because you're only looking for the number of six okay if you're a life path six, you can watch the same readings. Capricorn, Gemini. That's for the new people. Sorry for the old people that know how I read. Okay, so I'm also hearing Eat Read or Reedy or Damien. Something to do with Damien Reedy. That would be a painter and decorator. So he's coming to paint this wall, which is uh, a luminous green, uh, in so I can do movie screens and stuff. Uh, so you screen. So you... <laughs> Wow, sorry, there's a load of messages coming out for myself because I'm a Gemini moon. Sorry, uh, I'll tell you about what I'm doing at the website at the end. Sorry, there's just messages coming from myself. Something to do with changing. Okay, so you could be doing Life Path 4 or Scorpio. Something is changing and I'm changing things up quite a bit. It might be around my appearance and it might also be around a lot of things to do with business and transactions of money and anything that might be internet-based businesses. Now, if you, because when I channel, right, this is either you or your partner, okay, or someone that you're interested in, it can come from either angle. But changing up things slightly around business and money and transactions okay so something here is in the way she moves or he moves so same messages as other readings someone could be moving during this time of october or traveling at some point i'm also hearing october with love again which would be a 007 or jen julian jason justin jackie jasmine jack october with love 007 a life path seven or a cancerian involved somewhere here Something to do with around traveling or moving in the month of October is definitely on the cards. Whether it is or not, I don't know. Is or not, if I say not, you say, Pisces, swinging on a tree. Must be Jesus for the love of God, Steve Vi. It could be a Steve, Violet, also Shepherd. I'm also hearing the name Shepherd, Violet. Uh, there's something to do with around colors. Violet, the, a violet color. <laughs> so you might be changing the color. Sorry, man, there is really messages for myself here, being a Gemini moon. I also have Cappy in, in Vedic, which is in my Venus sign. Um, but yeah, this is going to be uh, chroma key green paint. Uh, so yeah, something to do with violet in the sky. Lucy, Louise, Lucifer, Lu Linda, Belinda, uh, L's, anybody beginning with L. Um, something to do with green paint, violet paint, painting, decorating. It might be where you're just doing this on an easel or something like that, or an easy Steve. So it might be something around very colourful at this time. Uh, so uh, transactions of money, changing business, changing ideas, thinking of an idea, going forward on it, changing something around your business, something, if I say thing, you say Stephen King. So it could have something around a Leo placement and also an Aquarian placement. You've got a lot of people here. But you normally have uh, Cappy because like you always come up with this all the time is Capricorn and Gemini are sixes, and you, your partner, may have the same placements of like a six, 
like have a have a Capricorn placement, have a Gemini placement, past, present, future, ex, future partner, blah blah blah. So they're all merging into one, and that's what I feel like my soul is kind of merging with another company or another business, or that's what I'm thinking of doing is merging with another company and changing my whatever it is that I do for work and merging with another company. This person could also be thinking about changing their job description or something like that. So it could be you or another person that thinks <clears throat> during the month of October to change your job prescription. It might also be something to do with subscriptions, which would be cancel my resurrection to the... <laughs> so it might be Jim Morrison, someone that's called Jim, Julian, Justin, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, Morrison, M, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Justin, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, Jackie's son. Uh, so changing business, changing something about me around my world... So you got the world card, so it'll be a three. So a Pisces is now involved somewhere. There might be traveling across the. Sorry, I'm kind of reading your reading without the cards, right? So you've you've uh, got traveling, definitely of maybe internet transactions of business that were on the world wide web. Okay, so it's anybody that does things like tarot or wh whichever way around it is. There's transactions of business during the web, uh, World Wide Web. Okay, that would also be online dating if you're single, but it might also be doing a lot of communicating with someone that may live at a distance. Okay, so the world is a long distance relationship and it's a long way to temporarily. So is this energy of that might be involving travel? Okay, and it might also be internet based talking to a person on the internet, which means Instagram or fucking, I don't know, uh, Messenger or Snapchat or Twitter or whichever way you communicate via an internet, okay? So you got that. There's a lot of talking, there's a lot of communicating, there's a lot of travel involved in your October reading. Uh, there is also an energy of a muse because I'm hearing something to do with around uh, mixing, mastering that I do for Ableton Radio. So I've actually got a really cool one at the moment. I'm not going to... Uh, I think it would probably blast your ears open uh, if I did, but uh, here we go. I'm afraid of the secret that she keeps. She's here, the one that meddles on my jeans. Make a movie by the eve so there's, dreams. there's messages in this. Here we go. Sorry if you're bored. <laughs> Maria, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson. Anybody get with M? The captain The captain is turned off the light so it's, it's it's involving travel so I'm going cold. So if you didn't know I music produce but I also channel through my music and messages. Uh, that's why it's called Angel Radio. So in this, it has an M name, Melissa Maria, Michael Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, right? But it also has uh, an airport hostess that says, please unfasten your seatbelts. So it might have something to do around a seatbelt. So it could be a car or a plane, which would be involving a Life Path 7 or a Cancerian, okay? And please unfasten your seatbelts because the captain, which would be a Captain America, so it might have something to do with uh, Capricorn or slash Gemini 6, Captain America, something to do with maybe around traveling on a plane. Uh, it definitely is in the next Angel Radio, so if you listen to it, you'll pick up the messages. Okay, this is what you happens when you're a medium, <laughs> if you didn't know, right? It is not just about what I do on here, just justice, something to do with around a Libra, okay, Justin, Julian, Jason, Justin, but like uh, a Libra, definitely involved. Uh, there's an energy here, like I said, unfasten your seatbelt, so it could be a cancer in Life Path 7, somebody traveling maybe from uh, somewhere to America or from America to somewhere, but there's definitely 100% some kind of channeled message that comes through in my music to do with around a letter M, okay, and then also traveling on the ones and twos, because it says here traveling on the ones and twos. So something to do around a number two, or a number one, that would be a life path one or a life path two. But if it's a two, it would be a Libra placement as well. Okay. I'm picking up like a Libra. Two days or something like that. Two days, seven days, seven days. Listen to what Steve said. The nun. 
So uh, seven days time. Seven zero seven days. So it might be a seven, a life path seven, Cancerian energy, but it could be life path seven. It's one hundred percent travel. Like I, I can't get away from the energy that is coming up about October. About are you coming over or up or down in October? Might be something to do with around a Libra or a Sagittarian up and then down and then up and then down. So it might be are you coming up or am I coming down or are you coming down or are you coming up? Now some of you could be addicted to crack. Uh, or something like that, and you're on like a roller coaster of crack or something, and you might be up and down, experiencing a lot of emotions during October. There's definitely this plan, this flight plan. Uh, <laughs> you're right, private flight. You haven't been around for a long time, <laughs> but like a private flight or a private jet, or getting a plane somewhere and thinking I'm going to go and visit someone, or I'm going to go on holiday, or something like that is really seems to be coming through the messages. Definitely, when I'm starting to See, how I create music is, is is that I get like loads of different vocal things and I pay a lot of money for this music stuff that I do, right? And then I throw them together. Spirit gets me to get a message and I'll throw it together, blah, blah, blah. And it will seem to fit into places. It's like channeling through the Akashic Records, what I do here, right? But I get these messages and I throw it in and think, oh, that fits. Okay, now, okay, I've got my background. There's the music. You could also be doing caricatures and stuff like that, like my beginning bit. Uh, also, for you guys that are interested in competitions, over on uh, the vlog, which is behind the life of tarot, okay, which is, there could be a witch here, which is of Easter, Eastwick, or something like that, I don't know, a Wiccan or a witch, or something like that, I really don't know. I don't believe in it myself, but there might be. Okay, if you are interested, I'm doing uh, competitions over on Behind the Life of Tarot with caricatures. So the guy, Steve's, tar Steve's avatar at the beginning, is going to be show uh, telling you a story, right? It's going to be telling you a story. Now, sometimes those stories might be film-related, so they could be passages of a film, scripts of a film. They could also be nursery time or whatever it is. But And it could be a comedy sketch or anything like that or something that I write myself, okay? If it is, what I'm going to say to you guys is, if you, if you, uh, if I put it out and you say, okay, I know what movie script that's from, okay, and you put it in the comment section, you'll win a free reading by me, okay, and I'll go live and I'll do you a reading. So if you want competitions and stuff that is based around comedy and sketches and weird shit, okay, and then you also want to incorporate around tarot and winning stuff, then make sure that you join my vlog, which is below. Okay, so there you go. That's out of the way. So there's a huge energy of travel, communication, uh, internet-based uh, religion, something about internet-based religion, I don't know. Uh, but I've been picking up huge synchronicities of messages for the teaching stuff. Uh, man, I have got like some downloads of info that are flowing through my brain at the moment. So I'm trying to contain it all. Uh, Tina, I'm also hearing Tina Turner. Some of you might be going to uh, see a band or something like that, or a band of brothers, or your brother or your mother or someone is in a band. They're very musically minded, this person also. Um, but um, anyway... Yeah, like this, this teaching tier is going to show you about the, the depth of the soul and how it triggers off Akashic Record messages and then also how it goes from the feeling and the emotion that creates a trigger from the heart that goes to the mind and the mind then creates a scenario that goes up into the sky that is sorted out by the planets and, and Saturn and then it comes down in the physical form of a projection, okay? So that is going to be over on the teaching tier but also Patreon because I'm reopening Patreon. That's your messages for the end bit okay so i'm going through these transitions myself but make sure you stay towards the end because i've got a lot to tell you if you are a avid follower of any of the websites that i run okay so your messages as they stand is is that there's something around here about flights accommodation it came up in other readings where it's to do with commercial or or first class like first class this blah 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 commercial flights uh, something to do with e-commerce that would also be trying to sell something that you have and advertise it uh, w with e-commerce. Okay, so uh, that would be, like I said, on my website, I can put people up and say, okay, this is a business, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so like e-commerce, advertising and these kind of things. Um, 
So it would be also like advertising yourself, advertising your business. I keep hearing also adv avatar, avatar. So, you know, it's just, it's what I'm doing. But uh, avatars and stuff like that, like caricatures, avatars, telling stories, all these kind of things. Storytime tarot uh, or storytellers, which are, you know, tarot card people. Um, so you might be, like I said, you could just be doing your own. Uh, I'm also hearing I'm making my own also tarot cards. Man, if any of you guys uh, want to send me cards, I'll promote your cards if you are, if you're a, an artist of such. Um, but yeah, I'm hearing like I'm making my own tarot cards and stuff like that. It might be something that's commercial. It might be that you're in with someone that can also promote these tarot cards that you have. Um, that kind of thing. So promoting business is 100% here. There's 100% travel coming up and there is um muse there's something to do with muse melissa maria michael jackson julie jackson Jackson. but <laughs> sorry uh i'm trying to contain all of these messages all at once a retainer i need a retainer there might be someone that's trying to get a loan or a bank loan or something like that or something to do with banking a lot of money like a money transaction of like i'm banking that this is going to work uh, the Bank of England is what I'm hearing. So something to do around England. So that would be myself. But like England, anybody from England or traveling from England to... So, or traveling to England, I don't know. Um, but there's 100% like flight accommodation and traveling here. Um, yeah, we're going to leave it at that uh, Capricorn. So there you go, guys. Uh, if you didn't really know, like I said, I am very strange to a lot of people that just meet someone that is that probably does things completely different, unethical. It's not the same as a lot. It shouldn't really be the same as a lot of people. Okay, but uh, again, it is what it is. Jen, I'm hearing Jennifer. Jen, 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 N, Jen, N, Jen, number nine. So you've got Virgo here. Life path nine. J, Julian, Jason. But like a Virgo, life path nine, energy somewhere, somebody rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node, an N Gen, N Gen, Gen Gen, N Gen, uh, J's, gaze, someone could be into uh, J gaze. <laughs> Who knows? Gazing up into the stars, Aquarius, Leo. This person has also Aquarian Leo placement. Uh, <laughs> same with me. <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, Alaka, Araka, Ar Eric. Ericsson, Sony Ericsson, Sony. Some of you uh, might be buying a brand new phone, like a Sony Ericsson or something about Sony, or Steve, Sarah, Sassy, Sandra, Cassandra, Sizzler, sausage. Someone could be having a sausage party. Could be getting a baby's arm old and a blood orange. So you could have a dick pic or something like that, maybe, I don't know, and taking it with a Sony Ericsson. <laughs> uh, or you might be buying yourself a Sony camera or something like that, or a Sony sona persona person soon so in the seeds of love some of you are planting seeds for the future in your mind's eye in order to create it of manifestation uh but you know if you've got no idea and you just follow old ways then you know you really might want to learn by me but it's up to you uh anyway let's just get on with your reading because i could sit here and try and channeling for forever and a day the Living Daylights, there's something about 007 here of uh, James Bond. Uh, like, it could be a Life Path 7 Cancerian, James, Jamie and the Magic Torch, Lantern, uh, a um, Virgo placement, Guiding the Way, Wayman, the name Wayman, it's a way to go. There's there's distance, 100% long distance travel of uh, communication or being with someone here. It's involving where you would have to get onto a plane here. And some of you, it's a car. Or it could be a car, which means Jimmy or, or I don't know. But like, um, like a car, which would be a Cancerian Life Path 7, or it is actually a car. Okay. Something to do around that. Okay. Are we finished? <laughs> Are we finished? Yes. Okay. Carry on, thank you. <laughs> carry on, carry on, as if nothing really matters. Scalamoose, scalamoose, would you do the Van Dango? Send a bolt of lightning, Zeus. <laughs> very, very frightening, D. Scalileo, 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 Figaro. Magnifico, Mag Magnus, Magnan, Mag, uh, Mag Pi, uh, Melissa, Maria. Uh, magpie um, just one cornetto give it to me delicious ice cream from Italy 
Um, what's someone from Italy or Italian? Like Italian Stallion Silver, Sylvester, Cynthia, Steve, Italy. Someone Sicily, Sic Sic uh, Sicilian, Sicilian, Celine Dion. For uh, wherever you are, I will lead to my heart will go on. Something to do with a boat ride or a boat trip. Something to do with a boat. Man, there's traveling. It's either a plane, a boat, <coughs> uh, a car. Something to do with overseas, like over, over the mountains and over the seas. Uh, all at sea. Jamie Cullen. Jamie Cullen. All at sea. All at sea. Uh, yeah, someone from Italy also. Italy. Uh, anyway, or as an, an Italy, like Italian background. Italian stallion. Has a stallion. This person could also like have a big old todger. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, or you are Italian and you could have a big old todger yourself if you haven't got one. <laughs> Meaning like you're a woman but you could get one. <laughs> so it's kind of like this energy of a, uh, I don't know, someone that's quite well pronounced, put it that way. Anyway, let's see. <laughs> or pronunciation. This person could also be British. I don't know. But I'm hearing my pronunciation uh, I'm trying to pronounce you King Charles British this person's also British here British I pronounce you King Charles unless you've got dogs and cats some sort of King Charles um, but Prince like um, when uh, the Queen died she's now gone with um, what's his name Philip and Philip was a Gemini, which comes up in the Cappy readings. That's when I predicted his death before he died. So there are messages here for... Oh, wow, okay. Really? <laughs> Please don't tell me that I'm just about to be visited by the Queen. <laughs> there is something here of a, of a connection with someone from Britain here. 100% equivocable. A connection that is being formed with someone from Britain, from where I am. Uh, Britain, Britannia, Brittany, Britannia, Brian, uh, <laughs> y'all getting the, y'all getting some messages, uh, cappies, this is where everybody's clicked off and like, oh, I just want a cup, <laughs> um, I ain't got time for people, uh, <laughs> sorry, like, uh, uh, right, Come back to Earth, Steve. Let's see. Yeah, there is a British... There is, like, British sterling. Something about pounds and dollars. Like, pounds and dollars. So there is. There's a connection between America and Britain here. Now, whether this is the British Trade Centre or trading places, like, I'd buy that for a dollar. Like, I would buy you something for your birthday or British Telecom? Well, that's, that's BT. So that's like internet. So someone's talking to someone here via the internet of like, uh, like internet, like from America to Britain. And um, like it's not on a telephone call, it's on an internet based call. Just don't call me out. <laughs> Could be something around a Leo, a Leo placement somewhere. Just call, call me, call me. So it is, it's Union, Union, Union City Blues. Now, if you watch that in the Aries reading, you're coming up somewhere, Aries or Scorpio, and it was Union City Blues. And if you watch the video of Blondie, this person could also be blonde, have fair hair or blondes, or looks like Blondie, or a blonde idiot, but like a... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm kind of showing my eye there. <laughs> but uh, like... um. Blondes, like, so in Blondie, when she did Union, Union, Union City Blues, it was to do the around a union representative, or it was someone at sea, okay, but if you look, there was a plane, and it was New York City, or something, where there's, like, America, but it was also Union City Blues, and there was a ship, a boating yard of, like, uh, boats and ships and stuff like that, and she was singing on it. 
Okay. So it, it's also something to do with around union or going into union with a person or going into like going to see the union representative, which means that it's something to do with long distance traveling, visas and passports here. Union, Union City Blues, oh, fashion, what are we gonna do, number two? Union, Union, Union City Blues, ah, da, da, da. Sorry, but Blondie is, uh, I used to have a, uh, man, did I have such a huge crush? I mean, who wouldn't? I think most women even had a crush on Blondie, right? <laughs> she was so attractive, Blondie, like, wasn't she? Like Debbie Harry, could be Deb, Debbie, Dan, Danielle, Deb, Debbie, anybody good in with D. But like, um, Debbie Harry, oh my God, was she like, you know, was she like very attractive in her day? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I had such like, when I was a child, I used to sit there watching, like Blondie was my, like I was, when I was a kid, she was the first person I ever really listened to when I was starting to get into music. Well, the Carpenters and the Beatles, but like my own personal kind of preference during those days was Blondie. <laughs> Coming on top of the pops, right? <laughs> Da, 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 Sunday girl. <laughs> anyway, man, reminiscing over old times or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, let's see. So anyway, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What well, they got coming up for October? So there you go. The manifestation. You might even be teaching it, Steve. But the manifestation starts from one ground zero. Okay, so I'm over the past and I'm now moving on with my life forward and onwards and upwards. Whatever it is that I have done, I have to rectify my past in order to have a new start. I need to put everything on the table and see what I have to create my own future. Now, what am I working with? Who am I working for? If it's to do with around a Scorpio or Aries person, but it can also be who am I working for? Do I want to be... Uh, do I want to work for myself, okay, and uh, be a, an entrepreneur and have like many multifaceted ideas of things where I could draw in assets and money? I could be single, ready to mingle, or I could be a Judas backstabbing bitch, but who knows? I very much doubt it because the magician here is to say that you now have a new beginning, and how now, brown cow? Okay, so like, um, it's kind of like this, okay, do I want to work for myself? If I do and I don't, I've got a lot of work to put in Tyrone in order to get it, okay? So I have to go to college, I have to go to school, I have to realise that I have to educate myself more in the field of where I work, so I would go for a high degree, okay? So I might go back for a semester of college in order to be able to study in order to be able to get more of an education so I can then find myself in a better position when it comes to work, okay? So I'm definitely picking up people going for like PhDs and stuff like that or P P I'm also hearing a pediatrician or something like that or a nutritionist or a pediatrician, something to do with around a doctor here, uh, studying medicine, and this is a medicine man, so it'd be like healing herbs, medicines, uh, all that kind of stuff, um, going for a high degree, so I'm going for a trimester, and I'm trying to like uh, financially support myself further in the future, by realising that if I was to go back to college or school, I may be able to get more of a degree of something here, okay, that's probably not for all of you, me, I didn't go to college and I can't spell very well or read very well, but I can read a person, trust me. <laughs> so I use what I have to my best ability and I don't use what I can't do. That's, that's just equivocal for, for me. I'm not going to learn to read brilliantly. I can read and write, but I'm not very good at it. Okay. So when it comes to sending messages and stuff, it's normally predictive text with me by pressing the button and speaking it and it comes out. Can't stand spelling and stuff like that. I was just never good at it. So I gave up thinking, well, you can keep learning and learning, but I don't need it. I don't need it in my profession. So I use my assets. I use what I'm good at. I don't never focus on what I'm not good at. I focus on what I am good at. Okay. So that's me in the corner, Callum Scott. <laughs> <coughs> okay, uh, someone from Scotland also. See you, Splat Rabbit. Come here, I get it. 
or someone that's called Jasper Carrot or Abbott. Abbott, you're right, Abbott. That's my name. <laughs> Abbott. Could be religious here. Losing my religion, so trying to keep an eye on you. But I don't know. Someone's trying to keep an eye on someone, but I don't know if I can do it. Anyway, let's see. Uh, Capricorn for October. Capricorn for October 2022. There you go. My love. My love does it good. Uh, M. So, and McGinn. Mc, uh, Melissa. Maria. Michael. Jackson. Jr. I don't know. But my love does it good. Oh, my love. Oh, my love holds the other key to me. Oh, my love. There's Maya, Maria, Michael, Maria, uh, Melina. Um, I don't know. But anyway, this, is, this, is, <laughs> this isn't this is everlasting, everlasting love. Go away, Mama Jamma, with your music box. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Mama Jamma, we're only kidding. Someone's listening to a lot of music. But um, here, this is... Um, it's an opportunity. It's there if you want it. It's kind of like, well, it's on the table. My love is on the table. Okay. So I love to love and I want love. And that's what I'm trying to manifest. And if you're trying to manifest love, then what do you know? Here's a cup. Have it. Right. <laughs> so it's there, meaning that it's a possibility that you could be talking to this person on a romantic level. Okay. Or at least thinking on a terms of romantic level here. Okay, there is definitely signs of a job coming up for you that would be more uh, emotionally fulfilling. If you are not being emotionally fulfilled where you're working, then you wouldn't really be so emotionally fulfilled doing it. So it would mean I need to replace this cup with another one. Okay, which means that there are placements. Okay, so there's a place, there's a fish here, 100%. If I say place, you say cod, haddock, fish. Maybe a pi well, Piscean, so that would be a life path three or Pisces. Okay, but like, um, there's a place for you here if you want it. Mm. Someone might be asking someone and saying, look, there's a place here available if you want, want it. It might be moving um, to do with around work and you're looking for a placement to replace where you live or where you work for another place of where you live or where you work here. Because you can whistle, why, whistle, whistle while we work. The seven dwarves. So is that a life path seven or a Cancerian energy? Um, let's see. The whistleblower. Um, sheesh, honey. Check you out. Someone's whistling at someone. Anyway, let's see. Or someone grasped someone up. That's a whistleblower, right? Um, I'm also hearing Jim Morrison or Jim. Oh, my name is Jeff. Of like a reference of Jim Morrison within his poetry album that was to do with give me a whistle of a bow pipe, little bow peep, uh, but a bow pipe uh, uh, was like a shipyard. It was, um, boating yard, Scotland yard. Also, there's something here around British Britain. Um, Scotland Yard is the police force here. Scotland Yard. Um, it's like very highly intellectual uh, police force, Scotland Yard. It's the major corporation of police is Scotland Yard. Um, so there could be a police officer here or someone that's looking to be in the enroll in the police force or in the academy. I'm also hearing the academy. Uh, looking to enroll in the academy. I don't know what that would be, academy of whatever it is, but I'm looking to enrol, or I have an academy, like I do. Well, my academy is not based on uh, fucking, you know, meditation and dark energy like that, no. No, the next teaching segment that I show you is going to be a way to self-heal, to self-heal without the interaction of anything. You cannot heal anything by uh, meditation in my book. It takes a soulmate to heal your soul because it works off the scale of balance of Libra, which means that you have unfinished business of dark and light. OK, purgatory where we live now, all of us within nine years cycle goes back to one here. So Virgo in the era of purgatory. So then we have Libra of the scale of balance of a dark soul and a white soul. If they balance themselves out where they are both pure and free, 
which means divorced, separated, finished with the past, the world can then find balance, but nobody else finds balance until Libra has found balance. Okay, because they are the sign that in between this one and this one. So they're in between realms. That's why they are a two. Okay, so when you all you guys are kind of like, why is nothing ever seem to be moving forward in my life? Because Libras are the one that make their choice. The one in the sky and the physical form of a Libra. They are the one that make choices, right? So when they find purity and stillness of heart with Lenny Kravitz, <laughs> okay, they find two hearts living in just one mind, together forever, for the end of time. Right, so time, metaphysical time, Libra of balance, if they are out of balance and they have some unfinished business with, they have to make sure that that is fair for everybody and when it is fair, then they can move on. And that is when everybody suddenly thinks, oh, thank God Libra has made up their minds. We can all now move on. And that is where we get a global energy of karmic energy that is then presented to us as what comes of the future. What comes of a broken heart? What comes of a mended heart? Because they've now sorted themselves out, they are the ruler of all of us. Okay, you ever tried to date a Libra? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, well, popular belief, I've literally just come up with that from the Akashic Records. So whether you believe it or whether you don't, it's up to you. I'm going to have to take a note down and do a teaching video on it. Okay, but I think I've pretty much kind of given you the gist. But that is how channeling works for me. I, I don't go off books. I don't go off old ways of like, okay, meditation is the way and the tool. Crystals, great. Yeah, if you all do all of that stuff, Whatever y'all want to do, right? Me, my gift, gives me that. That is what it gives me. That's the essence of soul connection. That's a muse. That's a soul that gives you information, okay? Triggers off a spark of emotion that gives you that passion that's driven within you to come up with a message just like that, okay? Open, open, okay? But if you want to learn about that, you'll need you'll need my teaching to hear. <laughs> okay. Uh, but it's up to you what you guys believe in, right? But just always always know that any kind of uh, belief, 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 life is all lies. <laughs> Liza. All right, Liza. Uh, but let's see. Um, Capricorn for October. Eight. Aquarian Leo. Communication. This is... Um, uh, telecommunications. So you might even work or someone does for a phone company here. Okay. Selling mobile phones or telecommunications where they come around and they do your internet provider, telephone system, blah, blah, blah. They go up in, uh, you know. Um, but yeah, this is 100% a spiritual connection. This is one of the most spiritual cards in my deck is the eight of wands okay because it means that it is open for discussion open for communication there's nobody in it it's cupid's arrow it, it pretty much puts that together for you it makes energy that flows through you where you get warm welcome nice light white energy okay so it's new this person here is new here <clears throat> for someone okay um Let's see, Capricorn, Capricorn coming up for October. Uh, yeah, there you go, new. Some of you are, well, I don't think you're actually a couple as of yet. I think it's more on a friend basis here. Friends will be friends when you need in love with the care and attention. Um, but someone's thinking, that's for sure. They could have a Leo or an Aquarian placement here, okay? They, they consider you as a good friend, but it's also a spiritual connection as well. So it's something that may blossom more so in the future. Okay, depending if you guys agree upon a contract here. But spirit always puts that contract together. The final step is agreeing upon that contract with the two humans. Because you can always just say no. Okay. You do still have that uh, given right of destiny. Okay. But that soul urge is what pulls you towards knowing that I'm still going forward to find the love of my life. The love of my life, don't leave me. You broken my heart, but now I see you. Love of my life. Can Someone's starting to see someone pure of heart here, stillness of heart. 
I can see you, okay? I'm seeing you, like, through a, a fresh set of goggles, pretty much, okay? I can see you. I can kind of see you now because I'm free. Mr. Humphreys? I'm free. <laughs> Are you free? I'm free if you're free. Uh, let's see. Um, Capricorn for October. Seven of Cups. Someone's got decisions to make, Johnny. To see Libra still hasn't made up their mind yet here. So nobody can really start to understand what a global energy here is. You see, what do you think two holds a globe? <laughs> right, it's because it's, it's, it's got a picture of a globe and a two. No. Globally, when Libras make up their mind is when everybody seems to change. Everything changes but you in the middle, alchemy. You're a thousand miles apart, but you know I love you, girl. We say goodbye. The taxi life path seven is waiting. <laughs> right, so someone's waiting. Um, but it's it's spiritual. It, it's still a divine orchestrated connection. There's a purpose to it. This is probably what's probably driving one or two of you mad. Is, is the fact that you can't figure out what the purpose of this is until you found out. That's the box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get until you actually pick one and get inside it. Right? Just because there's a fucking hat on top of this one doesn't mean that that's what's in there. Okay, it's only a card, bruv. <laughs> right? But what it means is, is that this is a relationship. It's a spiritual one, but you don't know where that spiritual connection will go until you get in it. Because that's the box of chocolates, right? I taught this over on the teaching segment, right? Look at life like a box of chocolates. When you open it, right, you get like a box of milk tray. This person could also be British, but a box of milk tray, okay? And uh, on top of it tells you that it's a walnut whip, that it's a, you know, an orange, whatever. It's a fucking chocolate this and it's blah, 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 right? But you open up the box and there's fucking no instructions there whatsoever to tell you what is actually in the box of chocolates. So you don't know what it is until you're really advanced at knowing, well, I've had a fucking thousands of these connections, so I know what they are. <laughs> or I've, had, I've eaten a thousand box of chocolates of the same sort, so I know exactly what the chocolate is without really having the instructions, so I can navigate myself around this box of chocolates quite well. So I'm advanced in uh, spiritual connections and so on and so forth, right? So not really a box of chocolates, bruv, right? But... What do I do if I don't know what kind of chocolate that is inside? Which means that I'm not going to know until I take a fucking bite of it and realise, oh, actually, that's a little bit sour. That's a little bit cold. That's warm. That's too hot. But that is just right. <laughs> okay. So I need to navigate myself around their energy to be inside of it before I know what would really happen. Because anything outside of facts is feelings. So anything outside of facts is fiction. Okay, it's fiction. So it's all spiritual fiction-based stuff. But a decision is normally what someone would start thinking more practically when it comes to like a Libra. But still not knowing what will become of the future until I've made a decision to go inside of the relationship to know what would work and what wouldn't. So there may be communication here, but I think that this person's analysing every single moment of what they want and what they don't want and what would work and what wouldn't work and the trouble is that may be what they they manifest okay because it takes a spiritual connection that goes from the stillness of heart to the brain to form electricity seven to form electricity of an energy that stirs up your emotions creates an energetic force within your brain that goes up into the sky to see what comes back down as a projection okay here. Okay. <laughs> you need my teachings here. Anyway, let's see. Um, Capricorn. Capricorn. Capricorn for October. Emotionally intelligent or in or not. <laughs> a child. Kids or a person. They're thinking about you. I just can't tell if they're actually speaking or not. Or who is speaking to because you could have choices. Some of you could have just like multiple choice. Okay, I'm single. 
I'm a Pringle, you know, and I just want to look around and browse around a little because I haven't been told yes or no. So I'm kind of thinking. Now, I don't know yet because I'm not clarified everything and these could really be communication, okay? But it is, like I said, it is, it's there, but it's start, starting off of a friend, you know. If any of you guys, you know, you can't do anything around a Libra unless you're friends first. Well, majority of people, really. I don't know why the old saying is is that we need to be in a relationship before we're friends. <laughs> You've got to know someone really well first to think, you know what, I'm actually falling in love with you. Now, there's difference between, like, uh, friend zoning and God knows what else, but you have to get to know someone. Especially if you're, like, Libras, right, here. Zebras and Debras. Um, it starts off this way here. Okay? That's if you guys are interested in a Libra energy here. I can't really... Uh, so you've got Low Path 7, Cancerian... Uh, Aquarian Leo placements and then possibilities of anybody really you haven't really got any major arcana cards apart from the magician right at the beginning so it's all new it's all fresh and I'm also hearing it's very new to me so I don't really know what I'm kind of doing but I kind of know what I'm doing I'm kind of learning like I'm learning your energy and I'm learning from you definitely if they're a soulmate because you learn from your soulmate that's the lessons that you get that's where you learn you see that's where you learn what dark energy is, by learning, by doing it, <laughs> right? <clears throat> Not listening to it, it's by doing it with a person, okay? They show you dark and light. Okay, anyway, there you go. There's some teaching bits. So, now we go to, I am hopefully going back to Patreon. So, there is going to be a Patreon link in the description, and there is also going to be the website link for you guys that are actually on the new website. The new website is as it says over there okay but i wouldn't really suggest of joining you can buy um buy the reading individually on the website okay you can buy it individually if you just want the one reading if you go to the website okay it says seven tarot you screen blah 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 you can actually buy it okay um but it's there are a load of hidden fees with you screen and for, uh, 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 with the website unfortunately that you don't know what you do till you get in there and then when you get in there you realize that you don't get any apps uh, okay you only get a certain amount of space in order to put videos so they disappear after a week or two uh, unless you buy them and so on and so forth and you don't have the benefits that I did however have when I was on Patreon it's just that I'm not going to be able to sell you them singly when I'm over there so I've changed it okay so Patreon is now back open you won't be able to find the link provided below all of the old readings are there we've got a first second and third tier first one is monthlies where they will be going and the other two have that i've done so far as well will be going there okay you got a monthly only tells you over there though you got a weekly a monthly okay and then you've got a weekly monthly and teaching so we've got rid of the teaching tier that we did have and i'm putting them all on the third tier which is basically the gold tier so that will be monthlies and weeklies and all of the teaching stuff. But you guys, unfortunately, are going to lose the benefit where you're going to have to scroll through it and find the videos. I can't do that for you. You're going to have to do that yourself. Any complications with Patreon, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to figure that out yourselves. Because that's why I moved. Because some of you are saying, I can't figure it out. It's quite simple. You just need the app. Okay. Download the app. And make sure you subscribe and remember your email. Okay when you're signed in and if you've got the app it will tell you that i've posted a video okay so it should be quite straightforward but it will tell you all about it below so don't forget guys this is going to both the website and patreon so if you are on i'll do a video for you guys that are actually over on the website okay to once you've finished your month cycle is to probably go over hopefully to patreon because it's it's just like I said, man, uh, it's it's difficult and it's really expensive as well. So uh, I'm going to stick with Patreon. Okay, so there you go. There's your options. Okay, if not, any like, share, comment, subscription, or donation would really go down very well, Capricorn. Uh, I will do a video for separate for people if you're kind of very confused of Steve, why are you leaving and why are you going back to Patreon? It's just a it's just a a business idea and a choice that I've made uh i tried it it didn't really work very well it was more expensive than anything else so i'd rather choose patreon because it's easier for you guys okay so if you have any queries contact me via email okay okay guys thanks very much i really appreciate it all links are provided below and uh, i will see you soon